hilly when you wake up in the morning. So where's that clearing line now? With just off to the north and the west here, it is going to continue to slide into our area, and that means a lot more sunshine tomorrow. But before it gets here, it will be a bit on the cool side. But when it does come in, wow, it's going to feel a whole lot better. Here's just a taste of what we're going to see tomorrow. Here across the Grand Strand, the numbers trying to edge their way up toward the 70-degree mark. And how about a little bit more sunshine? That'll definitely do us some good here and get us uh, moving a little faster maybe in the morning when you head out and about. But, of course, it will be a little cooler. And, of course, tomorrow an important day. It's pole. Hey, good afternoon and welcome back, everyone. It is November, and typically we're not talking about too much tropical weather in November, but we've got our newly named storm out there, Tropical Storm Ida. That's right. became a tropical depression at 11 o'clock this morning. Then the Hurricane Hunter aircraft flew down here to the Southern Caribbean throughout the afternoon and found winds already up to 60 miles per hour. So for that reason, yeah, brand new Tropical Storm Ida, and it looks like it's going to be a big rainmaker, especially for parts of... Uh, Central. South America. Yeah, in Central America there. We've got uh, a, a pretty decent storm there. 60 mile per hour winds, not bad for November, but it's not all that common. We want to throw a couple numbers at you here for November. Typically, we're looking at one tropical storm every other year here during throughout the month of November, and uh, only one hurricane every five years. Yeah, so hurricanes are a bit more rare, but it's even more rare, thankfully, are hurricanes that actually make landfall during the month of November. In fact, only four Landfalling hurricanes have occurred during the month of November since way back in 1900. And thankfully for us in the Carolinas, none of them have hit here. All of those four hurricanes have impacted Florida and not really the Carolinas. So some good news, but nonetheless, one we're going to watch here over the next couple of days as it kind of drifts its way off to the northwest. Surprise, surprise, right? Yes. Florida. All right. Yep. And, well, yes, I've lost my mind trying to come up with the forecast as we head into this holiday weekend. We're talking about a Saturday treat, but a bit of a trick as we head into the day on Sunday. Now, through the daytime hours tomorrow, things are actually looking pretty nice. How about Garden City at 79, Atlanta tomorrow at 82, and Timmonsville, 81 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. But trick-or-treating, looking good. We're talking about temperatures slipping their way down into the upper 60s to around 70 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. But any shower activity will hold off until after those trick-or-treating activities. The rest of your forecast is straight ahead. Hey, good afternoon and welcome back, everyone. WBS Storm Team Doppler radar all clear now after, a, well, a rough go of it last night. Yes, yeah, some uh, pretty bumpy storms working their way through, especially the coastal areas between about 2 and 4 o'clock this morning. A lot of thunder, a lot of wind, a lot of heavy rain. Thankfully, though, no severe weather. Yeah, I was watching things myself, still yeah. wiping the sleep out of my eyes here. It was a late night, but we had you covered here on WNBF News. Uh, that quick warning. But, you know, it's just a reminder here of the secondary severe weather season that we typically have here across the uh, deep south, especially here in the Carolinas. That's right. We usually think of the uh, spring and late summer severe weather season. That is, of course, typically true. Five mile per hour winds with that tornado destroyed a home, and it was only about uh, three miles east of the city of Dillon itself, and then an EF0 up into Robinson County. And a very deadly tornado back on November 16th, 2006, uh, racing across Pender and Columbus counties. Eight fatalities in the town of Regalwood, just outside of Wilmington. So, a reminder, uh, something that we'll be watching out for as we head into November in our second severe weather season. And something I forgot to mention, too, these tornadoes were late at night, and that's the other thing about these. Another reminder here, that's why you need to get that NOAA weather radio. You can pick up at any Walgreens here across the Grand Strand, the PD, at a discounted price. So go check that out for sure. In the meantime, things looking a lot better out there now. Here's the satellite and radar here across it, Marla. Yeah, Rob, you have no excuse not to get out and go to the polls tomorrow. It's going to be really nice out there for Myrtle Beach. Starting off the morning a little on the chilly side, 49 degrees. But look at this. It gets right up to 70 around 5 o'clock tomorrow. Now moving a little to the north, the north Myrtle, a little breezy out there. Still chilly when you wake up in the morning. But we'll start to warm up throughout the day, getting into the upper 60s to low 70s. And then in Conway, a very mild day out there, getting up to 70 by... That's a good one. My little girl will be out there. Yep. As a matter of fact, Abby Kadabi is who she's Abby going Kadabi. as. Nice. Yeah, she loves Abby Kadabi. And Broadway at the beach, upper 70s here. Another great place to go grab some candy, some tricks or treats out there. But I do have a challenge. Uh-oh. Yeah. Jamie's somewhat of an artist here. I don't know how his pumpkin carving skills are, but we are challenging you out there. We want to see your jack-o'-lanterns, and we've got a few pictures here. Uh, great job there, like the, the tongue sticking out there, but we are challenging you to send in those pictures of your pumpkins. Absolutely. Start the carving, uh, get them ready for Halloween night, and of course, snap a picture of those pumpkins. Log on to WBFnews.com, and there follow the links to the WBF News Nation, and we want to see your jack-o'-lantern pictures. Send yeah. them on in. And the winner gets bragging rights. Exactly. All right. WBF News.